born in Germany. My uh, family fled Germany after the Kristallnacht to Holland with an intention to immigrate to Palestine. However, the Germans conquered Poland and we were stuck in Holland. It was 1942 when we were summoned to the German headquarters and told that we have to evacuate our home to an extermination camp in uh, Poland. A student came over and said, we have a hiding place for you. The next day I found myself in a Dutch farming family. They kept me for three years. I immigrated into Israel in 1946. I was almost 11 years old. I was completely alone in this world. Wherever I came, somebody or some institute came to my rescue. The biggest of all was a youth village where I came to. The educational management took me by the hand and guided me and gave me a start which made my way up to flying school a piece of cake. I was selected by the Air Force to become a cadet in the most, well, famous Israeli Air Force. I was grateful that I could repay in a small way and contribute to the same effort. This mutual responsibility from which I gained so much followed through my whole career in the Air Force. I was the third captain who flew a C-130 Hercules to Entebbe and rescued so and so many people. When we were told that we have to fly four airplanes to Entebbe at weights beyond any imagination, we didn't ask any question. We said, it is needed, it will be done. In the early 90s, we were about to evacuate 14,500 Ethiopian Jews from Addis Ababa to Tel Aviv. We had 760 seats in our aircraft. However, when they arrived and all the seats were occupied, commanding officer of the operation came over and said, we need you to take more people on. And my answer was, you, you don't have to ask even. It's obvious, bring them on. I set the world record. I brought on one flight 1,087 people are from Addis Ababa to uh, Ben Gurion Airport. When we descended and came over Jerusalem and made a left turn towards Ben Gurion, and the whole oil aircraft was singing Jerusalem of gold, there was not one person in the cockpit who had no tears in his eyes. Every time that when I made my walk around, I always looked up and saw the Star of David and said to myself, see, this is Israel. This is the Jewish people.